what you guys got another video here for you on how to update to Windows 10 1909 this was released by Microsoft yesterday and people have asked me whether it's worth updating straight away now the choice of that is going to be have to be yours I personally hold off about a week or so just to make sure that there's no known issues with that update now you don't want to become a Microsoft guinea pig to test their updates for them you're not going to be any sort of um, danger by not updating right away these are bug fixes and it's not going to be basically you not updating and being hacked it's an optional update which you can do or you can hold off and wait till you know whether there's any known issues with this update the choice is yours what I'd advise you to do is keep an eye on this document over the next uh, week or so and you'll be able to see whether there's any known issues for Windows 10 version 1909 for server versions and Windows versions. Now these go back from 1507, 1607, 1709, 1803, 1809, 1903 and 1909. It shows you all the known issues for those versions. So this is where you can find out whether there's any major problems with this update. Now there is a few known issues with 1909, nothing too crazy, but it's early doors and there could be a few issues later down the road. Hopefully there isn't, but you just never know with these updates. So why do I advise not to update Windows 10 straight away? And the reason for it is because I come from a corporate background where uh, we don't update Windows 10 right away we make sure that they're stable and there's no problems and then we'll roll that out across the network to all the computers so we don't have any issues we normally have a little test area where we test them to make sure there's no problems and it's normally the same for all the computers that we use on that network and the reason for that is because the last thing we need is downtime through Windows update bugs so if you do want to update go into the updates and security in the settings pane here and you will see an area called optional updates available now you can see here this feature update to Windows 10 version 1909 now it's entirely up to you whether you want to download and install this it's not forced upon you as of yet so it's an optional update so there's no need to rush and rush out there and download and install this and become a guinea pig for Microsoft to install it on your system now you'll notice I have now changed over to my virtual machine and I'll install it just to show you basically how you can download and install it if you're interested in that this is how you're going to go about doing it personally I'm going to wait a little while just a week or so just to make sure uh, that there's no known issues for uh, this update and that's basically the way I'm going to do it now you can do it the way you want to do it it's entirely up to you this not to say that this update is unsafe it's just a safety precaution which I'm used to doing in the work environment for corporate businesses I just don't roll out big updates right away and that's just the, the background I've come from so if you see here we are now updating and I'll speed this process up now as a home user do you need to download and install this right away no you don't you can hold off the good thing I like about Windows now is they've added this little feature in where you can schedule the restart process whereas you was forced to restart straight away and you could lose saved uh, documents which you had open and stuff like that at that particular time so now they give you a little bit of a schedule where you can reboot so if you work up until five o'clock uh, you could actually put in there reboot system at six o'clock and uh, then let it restart the system and implement that update which you've just downloaded so that's a nice little added feature that they've added in there you can see the update is now starting to work away and go onto this system and uh, this is on a virtual machine by the way so the choice is yours whether you want to roll out this update or not now I don't think your operating system is going to be any sort of danger if you don't update right away it is an optional update as of right now but you might get someone getting triggered in the comment section saying you don't know what you're talking about I've updated this on five machines and it's working perfectly fine well good for you if it works okay for you on your five little machines then that's okay but when you're talking about major corporations uh, that have got massive amounts of uh, money involved invested in their business the last thing they need is downtime so that's the reason why so you can see here uh, we've now rolled out and implemented this update at 1909 hopefully this will be the best Windows 10 yet and we'll have no problems whatsoever but I'm not going to hold my breath because I've said that with every single version that they've released and there's always been problems so only time will tell and we'll just have to wait and see but it's entirely up to you at the end of the day whether you want to implement this update it's up to you uh, I'm gonna hold off for a week and then I'm gonna 
let all the guinea pigs test it out and if it's okay and I'll check that little uh, known issues page and if there's no issues then I'll download and install it on my system you are not going to be vulnerable to any attacks or any of that sort of nonsense uh, it's just scaremongering all that's going to happen is you're just not going to have uh, that latest update which is going to probably be fixing a lot of bugs now again for all those people that say that your security is at risk if you don't download it this is an optional download as of today so it's not forced upon you if Microsoft thought you was at risk they would have forced you to download and install this update immediately so just bear that in mind Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Try not to worry about it too much. It is just another Windows 10 update at the end of the day. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.